fucking weird because uh I'm, what's your name again sorry jason king jason jason king uh i'm just trying to tell jason king my name and uh he type in my Edwin Gomes at gmail.com and some yeah. Indian guy and then he type in photo Gomes. No, anyway, it's not showing that, up. That is my um that is my YouTube anyway. If you want to know anything about the stuff that I've just spoken about, message me. Okay. okay. In, in yeah. the um in the bio you'll find my email accounts. Send me messages. Of course. Uh, if you want to know anything about Cambodia as well, it's all in there. But if you want to know anything about the history, they're lying to you. It's all bullshit. It's all like it's a trick. It's like and, and the, they really don't give a flying fuck about um, about country or, or patriotism. I, I, I have a few friends in Cambodia that uh, yeah. is very patriotic and he, they complain about politics. I'm sure a yeah. few of them might actually contact me and ask yeah. you they're, information. They're, they're tricking us. It's like, um, it, it's it's all about the money. It, it, that's why we're always at war. China has not been at war since the Sino-Vietnamese War, which finished at the, on the 16th China of March. China's never been in war in another country. Like, listen, the Sino-Vietnamese Sino War, 16th of March, 1979, was the last time they had a war. It was, yeah, the Sino-Vietnamese War lasted three weeks and six days. And that, and, and, and that involved what was happening here in Cambodia, basically. China and Cambodia? No, or, or it, it, it was against the Vietnamese. But it, it had stuff to do with, with like what, 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 what was happening here. The Sino-Vietnamese War ended on the 16th of March, 1979. That was the last time China was at war. Now, why has China not been at war in, in, in over 44 years? Because it's a socialist country. Okay, under capitalism, you, you have corporations. Look, the, the, if you don't know this, the Khmer Rouge was given rise to by the American government. It was not China, it was not the Vietnamese, it was America. Um, and that's the truth. You know, after the genocide, the, uh, the Americans came in across the border with the British, uh, uh, with the Green Beret, and they supported the Khmer Rouge even after the genocide had happened, when this country was occupied by the Vietnamese. That's what really happened. You know, most Khmer don't know. Yeah, a lot, a lot of people don't know. And like, we, I was in the village, yeah. and no information. We no. just heard people talking, blah, yeah. blah, blah, and we yeah. just believe whatever they, they yeah. told it, us. It, it, it's all bullshit. They've lied to us all these years. They've lied to us about what happened here in Cambodia. And the reason they, like, that they did all of it was because it was, in fact, a war on communism. Supporting the Khmer Rouge wasn't just because Noradam Sihanouk would not support the Vietnamese war. It was like a, a, a public relations exercise in anti-communism. Oh, let's support these, these radical extremists in Cambodia because they're communists. And then, and then we can say, oh, the communism is bad. But in fact, it was the White House. It was, it was Richard Nixon, Henry Kissinger. They supported the Khmer Rouge. Um, they, they purposely abandoned Cambodia. You know, the Khmer Rouge came in, they slaughtered three million people. And then after the country was liberated by the Vietnamese, whilst it was occupied by the Vietnamese, the CIA came, came in over the border at Trat from, from, from Thailand. They brought weapons in and they trained and armed the Khmer Rouge after the genocide had happened. That's what really happened. It's terrible. It gives me the shits. I get so cranky about it. I'm very passionate about this. You know, because I'm, I'm very protective of Cambodia. I can tell. Yeah. Uh, this is my home, you know. <laughs> I think they supported through Thailand. Yes. Well, Thailand would support uh, Khmer Rouge at the genocide. Khmer Rouge, they, they were hiding somewhere in the jungle along. Yeah, the, yeah, but it was, yeah, but it was the Americans that, yeah. that armed and trained them. Like, that's the thing that people don't. That's the thing that people don't really understand. You know, like it, it's it's a it's a trick. You know, it's like a game of divide and conquer. They don't care about any of it. it it's just all about perpetuating war, and that's what it is. It's um. Once you really understand it, you get really scared because we're seeing it all happen again now. It's all on replay. You know, Taiwan is part of China. You know, the, I mean, the Shanghai Communique, 1972. Uh, but if you ask any of my Taiwan friends, nobody wants to be a part of the communist no, regime. No, but, 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 so. but, but at the same time, we have to we have to respect history. We have to understand that when Richard Nixon went to uh, went to Peking in 1972, he went there to sign the Shanghai Communique, and he agreed that Taiwan was part of China. Now, the status quo with Taiwan has been in place now for you know going on 50 odd years. China hasn't invaded; they don't want to invade. But guaranteed. <laughs> You know, if the Americans continue to do what they're doing in Taiwan, Taiwan's going to end up like bloody Ukraine. You know, it's um. Well, that's what they want to use and, and, Taiwan and, and look, as. The other thing as well. Taiwan people don't. The other thing that the Americans need to realise is that 
America has not got a hope in hell of defeating China. Not in a million years. They're using their own citizens as bait to try and force a war so that they can use nuclear weapons. You know, like, like, like during the Korean War. You know, they, 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 they threatened North Korea and China with nuclear annihilation if they did not sign the armistice agreement. I don't think nuclear weapon will happen. Um, it's, well, the, it's the only way they'll beat China. Ch well, Ch if, China if you, you look at the Israel, Israel and Palestinian conflict, yeah. and if it, if it multiplies to other countries like Africa, for example, mm. um, then they will like find a way to stop. Like, yeah. you remember the COVID movement at the peak of the Hong look, Kong and the Black Lives Movement? It came out, right? Look, COVID, COVID got out in America about. Six, it's like bioweapon. It is a bioweapon. Uh, but, but, you know this. But, but what actually happened with COVID, right? It it escaped inside America six months before it came to the surface anywhere else. So they have this. Okay, when we're we gonna use it? We'll use it when when chaos will hit the stage. We they can't didn't, stop chaos. They didn't do it on Lockdown. purpose. It, it, it wasn't intentional, but it escaped in America. It escaped a good six months before before it was that, even that, shut Honestly, up. I don't know. It did. It really did. <laughs> so, 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 so so they're like, oh well, it's out now. Let's give it to China and see what it does to their economy. That's what that was. It was a mistake. They didn't do it on purpose. It was an error. It, it got out in the United States, and if you and if you if you go back and look at the news stories, there was this strange flu in America that suddenly disappeared from our news, and then six months later, it shows up in China. That's what COVID was. It's a fucking bioweapon. Yeah. I always thought it comes from the bat lab in uh, China, Wuhan, and I That's thought. That's just crazy. <laughs> it's just everything they look. Everything they tell us about China is a lie. China has not been at war in 44 years. Look at us. We're always at war. You know. China comes here, they rebuild the country. Look at all the new buildings they build, right? What did we do? We knowingly gave, give rise to the Khmer Rouge, deposed Norodam Sihanouk, the Prince of Cambodia, uh, bring in General Nol, right-wing dictator, crazy, you know, and then abandon the uh, uh, Operation Eagle Pool. They abandon the Khmer. Look, let me read it to you. I'll read it. I'll try not to cry because every time I do, I, I do cry. But listen, I'm telling you, if you guys don't know this, it's true. Listen. Twelve helicopters bristling with guns and U.S. Marines breached the morning horizon and began a daring descent towards Cambodia's besieged capital. Residents believed that the Americans were, ru were rushing in to save them, but at the U.S. Embassy in a bleeding city oh, about to die... Bus, bus, come, bus, come, sorry. Ugh. I'll read this on the bus. Uh, wait, right. you don't, don't scare people on the bus, you but need, I'll sit by you, don't worry. You need to hear this, okay? <laughs> Thanks, Vaki. Right. Thanks, man. I'll see you next time at the gym. They don't have that gym anymore. No, it's we'll, we'll, I'll, 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 thank you. Thank you, brother. Any seat, bro? Uh, oh, don't need to take off the seats. This is not a sleeper bus. It's good. Where, wherever you like, bro. Let's just wait. You can take the two seats. I'll take the, I'll take the one seat. It's okay. Okay, no worries. Yeah, I'll um, take more space. You need to hear this. Yeah. Thanks for the education. Well, this is what's really going on, and, and people just don't realize. Well, people don't have time, you know. You don't know what you do for a living here. But it, for a finance background, but I, 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 I've got a couple of like businesses that I run here, and I've also got a. Um, I, I'm actually going to Vietnam at the moment because, at the, at the, like, I, I work in marketing as well. So I'm, I'm marketing the, um, the English courses for foreigners to come and teach English in, um, in Southeast Asia. I like to think you have made enough money to live comfortably here, you know? You don't need that much. If, if, if you have a 600 bucks, you know, people making, working in offices in Thailand or here is like 600 bucks US, it seems like a lot. Local salary, I know minimum is 300, but when you make 600... Radius. I don't have my reading glasses. But let, let me just take a picture. I'll read it later. Okay, so take, take a picture of that, and then take a picture of the next page. Okay. Wait, the, the lighting is too bright right now. Can you give it to me? I'm a photographer. This is in Here, I press it down. <laughs> 